saw it too. What are the odds? What are the odds? Hey, Tony P, what are the odds? Oh, hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Tony P. This is Tony P. Odd cast. I honestly had no idea what I was going to say in case you couldn't tell. I know. I know. Sometimes you're like, man, this is so scripted. <laughs> it's clear the nonsense that the incoherent nonsense was was written ahead of time and edited and thought over. Now, you know what happened today? I was like, oh, I need to do the show. Man, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. And I was like, well, I got to do the show. So let me like, let's, let's do that so I can eat. Cause if I ate first, like once I eat, I'm done. Like, forget about it, man. I'm going to probably, uh, watch succession succession. That's the name of it. Uh, uh, and, and, and make some food and then I'm done. I'm not recording editing and uh, grant. I don't edit, but you know, you know what I mean? I'm not doing any of that. So, um, before I forget, say what's up to Greg Klein. He's not here. I know that kind of implied like he was just going to pop over like, hey, what's up, y'all? No, no, no. But he did do that awesome theme song. Check him out at Clima.com. What do we have going on today? Well, I have a note here. It just says gay cats. Yikes. That's, I don't know. That's, I don't know. It's a little, a little murky, a little insensitive. It says gay cats for shizzle. And every day I'm wrestling. Well, I'm hungry, so let's figure it out and get into it. Twitter user shared a screenshot from his app, which showed a picture of a cat, just a cat looking quite unimpressed among grinder user profiles. If you don't know, grinder is a, uh, gay dating app. I think it's mostly popular with men, but we'll, we'll call it, uh, we'll say everyone LGBT community. Uh, I'll tell you what's not normally there, regardless, is Cats. Not even the musical. It was just a a picture of a cat. However, registered under the name was Missing Cat. All right, I see what's going on here. And the Brighton-based Moggy. Moggy, what is Moggy? I don't know. Is that the cat? Uh, is described as goofy, chill, and curious and has some interests such as karaoke, movies, music, and reading. The dating profile says that the feline is a 23-year-old single male with an average body size and specifies that he's looking for dates, relationship, or right now, and would also like to find his way home. Wow, what? People would, I'm sure, if you were scrolling through the app and just a picture of a cat came up, you're going to stop. You want to see what's going on there. Fortunately, below the profile, the owner explained that the feline's appearance was just the owner's unconventional way of trying to locate a missing cat. I saw in another article, yeah, I actually read uh, uh, two articles about this because I do top-notch deep research when it comes to these stories. Um, And apparently the person with the missing cat said they lived in an area um, with a very big LGBTQ population and they thought, you know what? (laughs) Maybe Grindr is the best way to uh, reach out to everyone and ask about my missing cat. Well, the first article I read, that's where it ended. They didn't have anything else, but I did more research and guess what folks, it worked. The cat was returned. In fact, they said like two or three people messaged messaged them on the app and said, hey, I have seen your cat. So, yeah, I mean, I think a funny story, a good story. Um, Now, now I just wonder if like all these dating apps are going to turn into missing pet forums, which I don't know. It goes from one sadness to another. Now we go to Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Man, I'm glad I learned to spell that in elementary school. I don't think I've ever spelled Mississippi once. Meanwhile, I can't spell restaurant. Go figure. A Mississippi morning news anchor has been absent. 
from her station. All right, she's not like dead or missing. That'd be pretty crappy. But what happened, you say? Well, she quoted Snoop Dogg live on the air. Meteorologist and news anchor Barbie Bassett has not been seen on air for the NBC affiliate WLBT. I like that they write this as if she's missed. They know exactly where she's at. They know what happened. They make it sound, we haven't seen Barbie. We haven't seen all Barbie V. We don't know what's going on. Somebody put her picture on Grinder. See if we can find her. Uh, during her last episode, Bassett and her team were discussing Snoop Dogg's line of wines. It's a good line of wines. I think it's 19 crimes. That sounds about right. Well, Bassett went on to say, Oh, shizzle my nizzle, which, you know, that's something Snoop says. He's pretty famous for that. A lot of people have said that, but since nizzle is slang, as they say, for the N word, she, she got in trouble. Come on now. Uh... No one should say the N-word. If she said that, I don't care who this person is, what color she was. That, And I asked a good point. I don't know. I don't know. Barbie Bassett. I could go either way. I'm not even going to look. Um, like, don't say the N-word. That's horrible. But my nizzle, like, that's not even slang. Slang to me would be something a lot of people say, and it means something else. Nobody says, all right, two things. One, nobody says my nizzle except Snoop or when referencing Snoop Two, that was like a long time ago. Nobody says it now. Like it's just, it's a thing he said a long time ago and she referenced it. But apparently this is not the first time that Bassett has caused controversy. Last year, she referred to a black reporter's grandmammy instead of her grandmother. I mean, <sighs> Was the reporter upset? Like, I don't, I don't, I, let's assume she's white. All right. Cause I, I don't know. I feel like the grandmammy thing wouldn't have been an issue if she was black, but even still like, is it a black term grandmammy or maybe a Southern term? Like was the reporter mad? Maybe the reporter was like, oh, that's her grandmammy. And she was like, yeah, that's his grandmammy. I don't know. This just seems kind of stupid. Anyway. Apparently there's no news. <laughs> she just <laughs> has been absent and and people are like, well, we guess she's fired. I didn't put no no notice out, no message or nothing. She's also been absent from Twitter. And apparently there was a big tornado that hit Mississippi, unfortunately, and she wasn't even talking about that. So maybe she is missing. I hope I didn't make a joke. Like maybe, I hope there's not, Something nefarious going on. Or they just quietly fired her and for saying n nizzle. Mm. Speaking of rap, I don't get to say that that often. For I mean, there's never two rap themed stories. I mean, Snoop, Snoop is all, Snoop is everything to everybody. But believe it or not, we're talking about Rick Ross, the boss. You know, Rick Ross. Every day he's hustling. Well, Rick Ross got on social media to thank his neighbors because they helped him return some buffalo. His buffalo apparently uh, just wandered off. Uh, he has property in Fayetteville, Georgia. Apparently the, the buffalo don't know where the fence stops and ends, and they just dipped. So the buffaloes were first seen strolling around Fayette County, according to a Facebook post from the sheriff's office. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office confirmed that the buffaloes belong to Rick Ross, the boss, and were safely returned. I've said this before, but I always have to wonder, like, that's somebody's job. Somebody is a spokesperson for the sheriff's office. Okay, that seems like a normal job. There's a lot going on in the sheriff's office. And that day, this person had to wake up and get, like, all the news. And I would imagine there was, like, a press conference. Like, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you for your time. We just want to announce here now, so there's no further confusion, that the Buffalo were safely returned, and they did, in fact, belong to Rick Ross. 
Uh, I'll be taking questions now at the time. And then they have to answer questions about the buffalo. What kind of buffalo was it? What, how'd they get out? I don't, I don't know. Someone left the gate open. The rapper used his social media to document his life on his ranch that he calls the promised land, where he has horses, cows, and buffalo. I didn't know that. Hey, Rick Ross, I'm, I'm talking to him now, not the show. Can I come, can I come see the buffalo? I did a story about it, man. I like to, I'm, I come through Georgia. Can I just come say what's up? Come to the promised land? He posted several Instagram stories addressing the hairy situation. He went on to say, I always return stray animals. Man, that's cool, Rick. I appreciate that. Make sure you always put a collar on your animals. Mine don't have a collar because it's mine. Well, Rick, uh, you know, we may uh, could have avoided this entire, We, you know, maybe the spokesperson for the sheriff didn't have to spend their day talking about your buffalo if you put the collar on them. But I'll give them, I think it's cool that, um, you know, he makes a point to return string animals. Until I was doing this show, well, that's not true. That's not true, actually. I was going to say, until I was doing this show, I never realized how much of a problem stray animals were. Like, stray-owned animals, not just wild animals. Like, I know there's animals out there, but, like, people's buffalo and goats and cows getting out. But that's not true, because uh, when I lived in Georgia, uh, my old boss lived in a place, I think Harris County, where they had a, a community group, and probably once a week, there were random animals, and I was like, what? That's a thing? And then he would show me, like, hey, look, somebody's turkey got out. We know whose turkey it is, though, so they're going to go get it. And I was then so obsessed and still so obsessed. I don't know why. I just, it's the funniest thing to me. How hard is it to keep them? I don't know. I'm not a farmer, maybe, you know, but how hard is it to keep them in a pen? It's so beautiful, beautiful out here on the promised land, according to Rick Ross, who now calls himself Rodeo Rick. He explained he purchased a sprawling property of 280 acres and has 90 acres nearby. So my buffalo, they just wanted to go see the other side. It's like some of my young hustlers, my young brothers, you got to let loose and see the other other side. Sure, man. I love that. <laughs> I love that Rick Ross made the Buffalo getting out a very poignant and deep message. You know, it's like his young hustlers and young brothers. Sometimes he's got to get, get loose. I feel on that one, Rick. So with that, if you see some stray animals out there, apparently always return them. I'm not going near them, but for everyone, that's not me. Return your stray animals, help out Rick Ross. Uh, be careful who you quote. Why did I say that? What story was that? I wrote this the other day. I was like, wait, what are you saying? Ah, yes, yeah, Snoop. Don't quote Snoop. You might get fired. So be careful who you quote. And then uh, back to the cat story. Always return stray animals. Again, that's, that's your takeaway. Twice. Return stray animals.